brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. All right, so we have a lot of damage on this thing we have to fix. So the first thing I did was pull the engine, gas tank, seats, floor, strip everything that's in my way. And then I'm pulling all the nuts and hardware off of the stuff that holds the UHMW on the bottom of the boat. Once all of that's pulled off, I'm going to drag the boat outside and we have to unfortunately pressure wash the whole inside of this because there's a bunch of little sticks and dirt and stuff in between the crevices where I have to weld. And if it's in there, we will not get a good weld and we will crack our boat again. Dang, Ty, look at that. You tired of pounding on this thing yet? Got, got to get my shoulder Got a little shoulder workout? <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Swinging this big dog all day. Brother, you it. killed it. So you're saying that one's under a stringer right there? Yeah, unfortunately, this is under a stringer, so it's kind of like bound up right on the corner. Okay. And then we got a little one right here that I couldn't quite get all the way out. Okay. But I might try to bump this one out a little more. That looks really good, though. I mean, it looks 10 times better. Yeah. I mean, I think most of your problems that you're having was all this. Yeah. Being smushed up. Looking good, brother. It's getting there. Woohoo! About to start welding on it. Any cracks underneath? Um, the only broken weld was right in front of the grate, but. Oh. Oh, yeah. Is that the crack hammered, right there? Yeah. I got hammered pretty hard, so. Wow. You don't I'll have zip that. Zip it back up. <laughs> All right, so I welded up the bottom grate crack that we had. We threw a couple passes on it. And then we went ahead and flipped the boat on its side. We have the lift holding it up sideways so I can weld the stringers easier. So what I'm gonna do is weld the top sides of all these stringers, right, all the way up. And then we will go ahead and flip the boat to the other side and I'll weld the other side of the stringers and then we'll be done welding. Just like that, you got a brand new boat again, minus a couple dings on the side. The bottom of the boat is pretty much done. There is one dent that I cannot get out right here. Very, very small dent. Uh, no matter what I do, it will not come out because it is under a stringer and the stringer itself is bent. So without hitting that thing with like an excavator bucket or something, it's not moving. But the front is all done. The sides are all redone. Fresh hardware. It's looking pretty good. All right, boys, you got it. You know, I got to record. Oh! Watch the paint. Oh, boy. You guys just going to go over? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. We got to get to the other side first. Yeah. Oh. Watch out for this lift arm, James. 
There she goes. Fine. Softest Fine. landing this thing will have all year. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> well, they're all in there. It's all. Yeah. Well, it's halfway it's done. Not too bad. Halfway back together. Oh, you guys just flipped it off the boogie board, dude. Unbelievable. It's okay. See, this is why I need to be supervising. It was your idea to use the boogie that board. Was yeah, it was, it that was, was your idea. I put her down on the boogie board. I can't believe you guys scratched my boat. Dude, since you've been Unbelievable. in production. What do we have here, dude? The old Astro van. Dude, we got these guys made this Facebook post last night. We got this crazy base van. We want to bring it by the Freedom Factory. I was like, hell yeah, bring that <laughs> thing by. It's month of freedom. So. Here we are. What's up, guys? What's going on, What's up, man? How you doing? doing all right. You Drew? Yes, sir. Drew, good, good to meet you. Good to meet you, man. Steve? Yeah, nice to meet you. We've got a big car show this weekend made of steel. Okay. Tonight and Saturday, I was like, man. You know who would like something like this? Just Damn the right. extreme of <laughs> automotive. Yeah. Cletus and the boys. So. How extreme is this as far as extreme goes? It is one of the loudest. Uh, that plays music, I'd probably say top 10 for sure. Especially one that goes to Hell events yeah. constantly. All right, cool. Well, well, a, can we take a I'm game? Definitely one of the ones that get yeah. out the most. Grab that door, Steven. So this is Steven's van. Oh, Steven. Oh, yeah, that's Steven. Oh. My buddy. Oh, these are good. Let's take a game here. Oh, for real. <laughs> oh, dude. 12, 6,000 amps. It looks like a Tesla. <laughs> Golly, what kind of alternator you got on this thing? Uh, there's four of them in there. Does it still drive? <laughs> uh, on and off the trailer. They yeah. actually drove it around <laughs> Vegas. So is this what we're working with here? That's uh, the rear. That's the door speaker. Rogue audio, you know. <laughs> we got four of these, and that's it. Just gonna jam up. That's, that's it. All right. Damn, guys, this is some crazy <laughs> equipment we got here. What are these six inches? Eight. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. We got another ten of them right here. Another eight of them. Another eight eights. Oh, brother, you got that bolt in windshield, huh? Yep, quarter inch plate interior, inch and a half, like saying windshield. <laughs> Hold on, Josh, look, look in there to your right. It's pretty majestic. No, no, go all the way into the right. Look in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's where it's happening. Oh, my God. You hear, you hear it reverb? The whole vein is a box. So that's 12 Sundown Audio SDDN 15s. Those are actually special edition subs made for this guy. Oh. By Sundown Audio. So you got 12 15s in here. It's 128 squares of effective cone area for sub times 12, so a lot. A lot. All right. We got a lot of math going on there. That's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll conclude it with a lot. Yep. How many guys in the sound world have mullets? Is that pretty standard? Mm, nah. So I think, really I think it's maybe like one or two. Here. So I'm, I'm actually disappointed. His, his mullet was far more glorious six months ago. <laughs> it had another eight <laughs> inches on it. <laughs> mullet on him. I mean, <laughs> he's got them all too, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he said one or two. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is this awesome. Probably the only two. <laughs> Are you guys just gonna leave it on the trailer? This no, fire? I would love to take it off the trailer. Oh yeah, go ahead. Sure. Do it. Sam, they didn't have these in your day, huh? No, I'm telling you right now, this would have caused panic in the neighborhood right here. <laughs> this would have caused big panic in the neighborhood. My goodness, can you imagine the fire and death on the farm? Fire in your house. Oh, I can't yeah, see how thick this door panel is. What's this ratchet for the window? Oh, yes. see there, just oh, like dude. McFlurry, we Look have one that. of these. Oh, man. I thought yeah. we were the only ones. Nope. Hell yeah. Dude, I like these guys a lot. Not to be too intrusive, but a van like this, with this type of equipment, I mean, this has got to be pretty expensive, right? Yeah, you know, like if you were gonna pay someone to build something like this, I kind of did the math on it once, probably about 75,000. Give all or right, take a little bit. Right. quite the system. I used to have a double din, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, That's head right. unit in my truck. <laughs> I got two 12s, I'm not trying to yeah, brag or nothing. Sony explodes <laughs> from Walmart, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> those ramps. It weighs about 10,000 pounds, give or take. The van does? Oh. The van does. It oh my god! Dang! Gosh. Are we gonna blow my freaking cover part? So, this close? that was one thing we said when we pulled up is that building's gonna rattle. Uh, hey, right. The building's gonna rattle? A monster truck weighs about 10,000 pounds. Holy crap. It's, a mo it's basically a monster. It's got a monster. Alright, well, let's go, let's go away from the building. I don't want to blow it. Yeah. Maybe Onyx out of the truck. Blows rapper. all the instruments <laughs> apart. <laughs> So what it is, it's just basically, all a speaker is is an air piston in and out. So it just moves air, moves really fast. pressure. So that's why like big flat buildings like that suffer. I don't know what it'll do though. Hey look, hand me that amp. 
avionics because they're basically really sensitive air pressure yeah, yeah, yeah. systems. So maybe we should <laughs> slide over here, you know. <laughs> Wait, these are the only two batteries? Oh no, those are, these just run the motor. Oh. I have to do one yeah. the yeah. <laughs> Come on, George. So, uh, this is like a voltage. This is my voltage regulator. I just turn it up and how high I want it. Uh, alternator there. Alternator there. Alternator there. Oh yeah, down there. Oh, oh. you got to turn the throttle on this thing. <laughs> yeah. That way I can play. It. Oh yeah, nice. Turns the radio on, just bogs out. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. What Think about that, Jackson. This thing's sick. I'm having flashbacks of high school. Oh, look at this. You got the head unit, so you can walk away from it. You got the mobile head unit on there. Is this a double din? <laughs> All right, let's see what you got, dude. Let's you ready, dude? Fire me up. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> One of the loudest What's in the world. You guys know how long that doesn't have words. There's yeah, no copyright issues or anything. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, here she oh, goes. Wow. Well, let's see what his beard's doing. <laughs> Look it up if you're interested in this stuff. Yeah. Pretty cool. Thank, thank you guys for stopping by, man. Really, man. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate y'all checking it out. Yeah, I like sharing this side of yeah. car audio, the, the automotive industry with people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Song. What a bang, what a banger.